Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video on MS Excel count and sum functions. Count and sum functions are really helpful to summarize the data which we mark in an Excel. So let's get started. I'm going to create a table and with month, books and cost. I'm going to fill up the values. You can just pause the video and fill the values as you want. After we fill the value, just select the cells from A2 to C13 and right click the right click the cells and create a give a name as data 3 to, okay the first one is total number of rows to get to calculate the total number of rows we use the formula as rows of data 3 to, to, to calculate the total number of columns we give columns of data 3 data is data 3 is the array which contains the value from a2 to c13 next is the total cell count to calculate the total cell count we multiply the rows count by the column count that is rows of data 3 times the columns of data 3 this gives that as we as I select the data 3 you can see a blue highlight between A2 to C13 the next formula we are going to see is to calculate the blank cells to calculate the blank cells which means which doesn't have any value a cell which has an empty value will not be a blank a cell which doesn't have a blank value is the blank cell the formula is count of count blank of data 3 data 3 is again the array so we don't have a blank so it's displaying 0 now I go back to b5 and delete the value you can see here the blank cell has increased to 1 this formula will really come into place if you know them well and uh, you can start using it the next formula we're going to see is the non blank cells which is the count a of data 3 so count A of data 3 will give the number of non-blank cells in the uh, given array that is data 3. So I, as you can see if I delete the B5 the non-blank cell value has increased. The next formula is the numeric count. It is the normal count formula which gives only the numeric values if I give count of data 3 it's going to give me only the column C2 to C13 that is 12 the next formula we are going to see is to calculate the non text count that is the number of cells which doesn't have a text in it the formula is sum of we are going to use an if condition if it is a, the cell is a non text inside the data 3 array then we mark as 1 and we calculate the sum of 1's so that will give the sum of uh, the non-text values in the array and this is an array formula so we have to hit control shift enter instead of normal enter the next formula we are going to see is counting text cells it is same as the non-text values but the only difference is instead of giving is non text we are going to give is text that is the only difference between the other one and this one and this gives the number of text values in the given array so sum of count if is a text or in the data 3 then we replace with 1 and we calculate the value ok the next formula we are going to see is count if count if is an advanced formula which takes two arguments one is the data range that is the array and second argument is the value which needs to be compared in this case let's give count if data 3 comma 11 which means i am going to i need a count of the element count of cells which has the value 11 in the data array so i give count of count if range is data 3 and the value is 11 so it's, it should return me two values in the entire range of A2 to B13, C13 we have only two cells having the value of 11 that's it for this video I guess this would be a useful one 
I'll pull in more uh, formulas which will be useful across your Excel and let's meet up in the next video. Thanks for watching.